It's always the most important part of a spin-off because that's really the shareholders deciding what the value of the company is, getting the shares tonight in their, in their brokerage accounts, and it's full in the range we have expected, so no surprises here. So really glad to see the first price. Um, let us look at your strategy and also the, the way you want to boost profitability because there you're clearly lacking behind competitors. So what are your plans? I mean, first of all, uh, we have the most prestigious brands all over the world. We have a rock solid balance sheet and we have good profitability. Yes, we are lacking to some uh, competitors, uh, but only in some areas. Other areas are absolutely benchmark in the industry. So I have absolutely no doubts that we will catch up with everything else. So leading the way to zero emission in transportation and doing that with a strong balance sheet and profitability. So it's not your plan to start a cost-cutting program to get your profitability up? No, we already started two years ago and that yes. has nothing to do with the spin-off. The spin-off just gives us more focus, more visibility, an uh, interview like that, yeah, uh, and, and going forward a clear profile as a world-leading transportation company. Um, we were just early on discussing your way forward into uh, making uh, trucks cleaner for the environment, obviously. So uh, you're, you're having a two-fold uh, structure, right? Electrifying and hydrogen. So yes. what is the most important for you? Both are very important because the, the ultimate question is how does ultimately society store and transport green energy? If we can do that everything in the grid, then certainly there's an advantage of battery electric trucks. But if we need something in between to store and transport green energy, then that is hydrogen and therefore we go both ways. Um, how will that be reflected in your prices? Because clearly we're seeing that with the cars, they're much more expensive than normal cars. That will most likely also be the case, right? This is even a bigger extent on trucks because we need such an enormous amount of energy to get 40 tons up a steep hill that you certainly need either bigger batteries or the fuel cells does not come for free either.